Long range head boats are a way for anglers to fish areas normally out of reach. This gives us the opportunity to drop jigs well over 100 miles offshore. These grounds have very little fishing pressure and are filled with exotic bucketless fish. Make sure you have your gear perfect and everything you might need because the side of land fades from the horizon and you won't be back for days. This is one of the greatest fishing experience we have ever seen. Welcome to the American Patriot. What's up guys, Johnny here from Johnny Jigs. Chris Doyle. Victor from Landshark. So we're going out on the American Patriot out to Pulley Ridge and we're hoping to get on some deep drops and something cool about today is we're doing a collab with Victor from Landshark and what are we gonna do guys? What's the plan? Well, we're on the American Patriot, we're heading to Pulley Ridge. <laughs> Anything, any any fish for you, Victor, that's gonna be like the everything, more? Everything, everything. So I've seen Johnny and Chris and all these fish they have in their shop in Palm, but I want you guys to check out if you haven't already. I mean, big yellow edge grouper, queen snapper, and the best part, we're gonna try to do it all on jigs. That's it, that's the game. Have you caught a queen snapper? No, never. Yellow edge grouper. I, th there's gonna be so many bucketless fish for me on this trip right here. So this, this could potentially be just epic. Yeah. That's the special thing about coming out here to Pulley Ridge with a group of guys, 20, 22, whatever it is. And uh, there's so many guys, that, and myself included, I've got some check boxes I still need to check. Uh, but bucket list fish, you know, to catch first time. They're beautiful and you have the opportunity to do it out here. <laughs> To show you guys something that i'm guessing most of the guys on this boat thought wish that they thought of and it's to bring sea suckers so if you look that's chris that's me and that is eddie right there and and and, <laughs> and victor doesn't have one so what i'm showing them guys is these sea suckers right here so basically you just attach this suction cup thing right to the wall right there you push it on tight there's a little button right underneath here that you pump up and then it, it actually it's very tough this thing is not going anywhere it's not going to come off of there and now all of my setups are right in the in the go zone right so i've got my spinner for a pitch bait really quickly i've got my deep drop in um, manual setup right here ready to go and then if we get into the 400 foot range right here setup ready to go you can't beat this oh we're doubling up chris Doyle. double up baby you got a big one yeah i got a big what one what rod are you using uh, this is the spade guys Ooh, this one's a big one, guys. Got one on, brother, man? Yeah, hooked up, baby. Nice. And so I was tapping a. How's it feeling? 400 gram jig on the bottom. Uh huh. This is a big fish. I'm gonna. Yeah, I was gonna off. say you got You got. It's pulling good. I'm gonna back off my drag just a little bit here. And, uh, see if I can't get this baby up. First drop, guys. I had a hook up. Lost. I just turned it off. Lost a small fish. It's okay. Do the GoPro. Lost a small fish and now tight again. You need a gaff. And uh, I'm going to, yeah. All right. This is definitely a bigger fish. And this is my first time doing using the uh, spades rod. This is a new, uh, very innovative rod by Temple Reef that, if you'll notice, it doesn't have guides on it. And it's it's just such an interesting concept. And the you can't tip wrap because there's no guides to wrap you up on you guys will notice i am because we're in 500 feet i am fishing the max l rage uh, 90 and i dropped down the 400 gram torpedo first drop even though i could have gotten away with the 300 i didn't know that coming into it so i went a little bit heavier i probably will switch up to a lighter jig after this but i feel some like very heavy uh tail thumps on this fish and i am so excited to be hooked up on the first drop hopefully i land this fish you never know until you get the fish in but i'm just taking it very easy i'm not doing any pumping any pumping that you see is going to be uh the fish's tail moving but i've got to be getting pretty close here guys 
would imagine we'll be seeing color shortly and it feels good to do it manually you know guys are using the electrics but emphasis on the man man you the that's right christopher doyle on the camera here for me and we got ian the mate what's up just yeah. on on standby we're floating we're going the right direction he's floating up yeah yeah i should be getting color any second now there he is Oh, it's a kitty. oh, bro, it's a stud. Oh, it's, a it's a stud, John. It's a stud. Oh, that's a kitty. It's that's a, kitty a kitty Mitchell. Kitty. No way, dude. Let me hop in. No way. Bucket list on the first drop, baby. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, dude. Are you serious? Bucket list on the first drop, bro. Boom shaka talking on the way here and I'm like you know what guys are asking me what's your bucket list that you want to catch this was my first drop my first drop and there he is man well I am so pumped awesome. I am so pumped nice. Thanks. Hey, all right, hold on. oh look at the worms coming out of his nose oh look at that guys you see the worms coming out of his nose yeah, like parasites yeah that's crazy that's it guys Kitty Mitchell going on Hi, ice. what's happening buddy uh, captain Jerry. Oh, Here's our God. captain, guys. Captain Jerry. I, I told Captain Jerry, I was like, this is my bucket list fish. You he told it. me exactly where to fish, what you to put down. And <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm now kidding. you need to catch one more. Yes, sir. And then that's the boat limit. That's up. right. I'll get him. You've got to get him. I will. Thank you, Cap. Right. So this is how we ice these guys down, guys. So check it out. So this will be the first bin that the fish go into. And if you see the ice here, that's actually a salt water ice. So the guys will put the catch from this whole entire drift into this box, and then they'll shift them over into this larger box over here, guys, right here. And the ice is made on board this boat. So if you look right behind me here, this is an ice machine that's constantly producing ice so the fish stay nice and preserved. Nice By the time we get to the dock, you couldn't have preserved the fish better. Got it. Look nice at it. We got a queen. We got his bucket. I got the you got your bucket list. Got my first. All right, well, that was your bucket list. Yeah. You got him, baby. I got him. Good man. Right, cool. What's up, guys? My turn. <laughs> um, still early in the morning. Still early. Dude. Got a couple Burmies. Uh, just tap bottom. I'm using a 300 gram guava torpedo. I love it. And uh, this one was pretty quick. Just uh, two or three bounces on the bottom. I started off with the 300, just looking at the conditions. It seems like some of the guys went forward to play it safe, and which is great because you're also going to get down first. But uh, I had a good feeling 300 was going to do the trick. I think you could even go lighter than that if you want to. But when you're in 500 feet of water and there's uh, pretty mild conditions, I think a 300 gram jig, whether it's a torpedo with not as much flutter or something with more shape, either or is a fine choice of a jig selection in 500 feet of water, mild conditions. Um, we just know that torpedoes are just proven. This is actually digging. Got a few, yeah, you got some. And that's letting me know she could be the lady in red. Or, or uh, gray. Yep, or gray up. tile, they gray do tile. that too. Yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of species out here, you know, there's only so many in this deeper water, the the world opens up a little more. A lot of them fight no, uh, relatively right similarly. Blue line tile, queen snapper, an amber jack or an almaco jack. Although those jacks will go on some peels, you know, halfway up, all the way up. And that's kind of their signature when you get those runs half after you brought the fish halfway up or even more than that. And you're like, mm. but uh, jacks are still great fighting fish. They're probably, some of the most fun to catch and they just you know my opinion don't taste as good as <laughs> yeah. grouper. nobody's gonna slide a snowy grouper out of the freezer to put a <laughs> almaco yeah, jack you. in you know granted right. they're good they're good and and victor over there may beg to differ maybe <laughs> i heard victor like really he, he likes the worms the like the worms are a delicacy for victor <laughs> Everybody knows that. He put it out there for all of us to see. That's right. Bold move, but true information. 
Yep. And we tip our cap to you, Victor. Mr. Land Shark. Slow and steady. I had one other big blast on the bottom. What do you mean? When you get out here, it's day one. It's early. Your adrenaline's definitely pumping. I mean, you've been waiting and preparing for this. You've been waiting for the trip for months. Getting to the boat, bringing your gear there is a mission. Getting on the boat and then the 12 hour steam out here, you know, there's just a lot of anticipation. And uh, yeah, I think. I'm gonna be able to get him up, John. I think he's coming under that. the boat. I mean, what? So I got my line coming under the boat here, which is not what you want. Hoping I can just pull the fish out from underneath the boat. We're getting pretty close here. There he goes. There he is. There he is. We got color. Oh, there he is. Oh, that baby. looks good, baby. That looks good. That looks good, good Chris. Goes, Come on. Come on, Chris. Go, Snowy Grouper. Oh, beautiful Snowy Grouper, dude. Yeah, baby. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. Count it. Beauty. Oh, look at this is Miss Sarah on the gap. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much. Nice fish, guys. Oh, man. All right, Doyle. So, here we go. It does snow. Oh, look at the jig. It is in his, his throat. We'll get that air bladder down. Wow. But he engulfed that jig. So I've got bottom hooks somewhere down his throat. Beautiful snowy grouper. Look at that. Yeah. How cool is that? That is awesome. Let's you don't see that all the that. time, but you can see how big these groupers' mouths are, and they will just inhale, you know, their prey. And unfortunately for this guy, his prey was my guava torpedo. <laughs> Oh, I got color right now. Oh, well, we got color. It looks no. like they're Yo right. Yeah! Yo yeah! Yo 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 nice job. Yeah! Happy birthday, so slow, Evie. Happy birthday. That's a queen, baby. Yeah. Yellow, yellow eye. Queen or yellow eye. Oh, nice yes. yellow eye, dude. Oh no, though, oh. Came off. That's okay. Ian's got the gap. Ian's got the gap. Yeah. Yeah. Keep sucking about the balloon. Oh yeah. He blew up here. You guys, behind the scenes, land shark, Victor. See. Now another thing that we do on this trip is high speed jig. We didn't do too much of it this trip. I was sleeping, but Tim behind the camera, he got on some black fins. I was woken up to the nice sound of a black fin tuna slapping on the metal deck. Guys, one thing that people always ask us is, what do you tip on a long range trip, like a three day, four day, whatever the case may be. And this is, this is the tip box here on the American Patriot. And a good general rule of thumb, I would say on most charter boats is gonna be 20% of your trip fare is what you tip the mates. And then if there's a chef on board, generally the chef will get an additional tip somewhere between one to $200, depending on how many days the trip is. But like on this trip in particular, a three day offshore pulley ridge trip, um, somewhere between one to $200 is gonna be perfect for the chef. Um, the better you tip, I would say, you know, the more they smile at you. These guys work very hard. This boat was a mess and we wake up in the morning and it's immaculate again. So that kind of answers some questions for you guys. So a lot of times on my private charters, I'll even walk around and collect the money for the guys and um, bring it up just to make sure everybody's tipping because these guys work hard. This is how they survive. This is how they eat. Look at that sucker, Eddie, my man. Thank you, Victor. 
just want to give then, a shout let, out let, to, uh, to uh, all your fans at home. All my fans at home. From where? where and uh, uh, Land Shark. I mean, with you're good. You should. Yep. <laughs> Johnny Jigs, baby! It's all about Johnny Jigs! There's Johnny's jig right there! Thank you! Doug is on another giant. Bucket list fish. Hooked up, baby! Got a fish on. I'm gonna reel him up manually even though I got the electric going. And uh, right off the bottom, guys. Right off the very bottom there. So, so we just moved out to a deeper spot. And we're in about about 750 you want to you want to feet, and I went ahead and put on a 500 gram all glow torpedo just to combat the depth and the mild currents. Mild current, but the 500 was definitely helping me stay on bottom. And I've got a long ways to come up, guys. Long ways. I think that one's 14 or Not bad. Right. I got color. All right, guys, we got color coming up here. Let's see what the verdict is on this fish from deep, deep, deep. Oh, we got a little. Looks like we got a queen snapper, queen. guys. Very right. nice. That's one to check off the box for today. That's a good one. Yep. Uh, yeah, he's not really. Yeah. What do you think? No, I think he's. What good. do you think? You think I can flip him? Hold on, let me grab that. Here, you want me to film it or grab? I think he's solid. He's solid. Hold on, let me hand line it. Yeah. Well, I got nowhere to swing. I am, uh, yeah, forget. Got him, Bob. Eddie, can you just hold it one second? Got it? Thank you. Sorry, dude. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, guys. I got my rod. <laughs> I got income. All right, guys. Nice clean snapper on the 500 gram jig. And they're just super red and this is actually a good eating fish uh, you know they'll they'll be up in the water column up 100 even you know even I've seen them 150 feet off the bottom and we're in you know 750 so it's a nice pleasant surprise for me Alright guys, so that pretty much uh, wraps up our first day of fishing and I have uh, Victor from Landshark Outdoors and I have our captain, Captain Jerry, if you've probably noticed from our videos before and we just want to kind of recap like our first day and the fish caught. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick this off for a second just because our first drop, very first drop was a, a bucket list fish that I was talking about that I wanted to catch coming out here and that was the Kitty Mitchell. And you guys hear me, you know, screaming in the background. I can't help it. I get super excited whenever I get a, a bucket list fish checked off. But um, what do you what do you guys think about like that that fish that was like okay, if I go if I go downstairs now and sleep the rest of this trip, I'm good. <laughs> Johnny set the bar extremely high from the get go. I gotta make a confession. I almost bailed on this trip twice, so I'm just saying thank you for pretty much making me go. <laughs> I don't know why I even second guessed coming on this trip. This is an honestly incredible place. You get a captain like Jerry who's been fishing here for so many years. The amount of species you guys can catch out here, the diversity, and then just like the camaraderie of the Johnny Jigs guys, which you guys already see on their channel. But everyone here is super cool. It's a just really low conflict environment. Everyone just wants everyone to get on fish. and. Like seeing Johnny's Kitty Mitchell makes everyone happy. No one's jealous. It's just, and everyone wants to get that next fish, next fish. Johnny asked me what I wanted to catch. I had never caught a yellow grouper, had never caught a queen snapper, never caught a yellow eye, and I've knocked off like three of those species already. So Holy cow. In terms of trips, Cap, like where where are we at, you know, with, with the ice box? I haven't even looked in there. Like what's what's our what's our crew doing on this trip? It's gonna be incredible. We're the, we're we have a half a day of what we had yesterday. It's going to be a great trip. Yeah, a really, really great. Yesterday was exceptional. It was really good. The size of the queens, queens were really big, huge monsters. Yeah. So we got into a killer blackfin tuna bite this morning. Oh yeah, really nice. Warsaw in the middle of the night. Yeah. And a big gag grouper in the middle. A Thirty-eight of the night. pound gag grouper in the middle of the night. So. Man. And so we got one more day to go, guys. Wahoo? 
Oh, oh the Wahoo! Oh, oh you hear yeah. Chris, Chris behind the like, camera? He's like, my Wahoo? <laughs> Anybody? Chris got a Wahoo on the jig, and man, it's just been, I think it's just been all around great trip. Everybody's happy and satisfied on this boat. And guess what? We still have a whole nother day of fishing. So stick around guys for part two um, on our channel. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Most importantly, follow us on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and we're putting out a few TikTok videos despite what you say. For the TikTok Victor, legends for out the, there. For yeah. the TikTok legends <laughs> out there. And uh, most importantly guys, jig on. Jig on.